Hello and welcome to another video of Machine Learning Do It Yourself Tutorials. In the last video, we talked about k nearest neighbors and we understood the plot of various points. Now in this video, we're going to talk more on k and n and do some hands on. So the nearest neighbors, which is k and n, is a very simple effective approach for classification. It utilizes examples for already trained data to find out classifications on unlabeled examples. KNN is K, which is the number, and in the in our ex, in our example earlier, K was five. That means the five nearest neighbors. It's mostly an odd number. The reason for odd number is that it can be used for tiebreakers. For example, in the last one we had five case which is nearest neighbors the majority was three for left one for balance and one for right in case of a tie for an even numbers the fifth or the the last one which is the odd would be used for tie breakers and as i mentioned k neighbors is the nearest on similarity which decides or used for classification. Now, it uses Euclidean distance, the distance one would measure if it was a ruler. So remember in our, in our nearest neighbors, we created lines between existing samples with the new sample that was Euclidean distance. K common practice is to have square root on the number of training samples. Example, if the training sample is 9, square root of 9 is 3, so you would go k equal to 3. With higher numbers, you would do square root and then you kind of do, uh, you know, the whole number, nearest whole number for that square root. This is the syntax of k and n. Please note that the values in blue are the keywords train. So k n n train train data set test test data set cl is the labels the class and the k the nearest neighbor in most of the cases we have seen that if there is data set with higher number of mean sorry higher number of range for example if the value is 100 to 200 or 500 to 400 you would normally use normalize function in our data set which we have downloaded the normalize function is not really required but I will tell you why in the hands-on exercise but this is the normalize function which can be used if your values range are very high and it cannot be really you know used for uh, KNN training. So having said that, let's get started with hands-on. The data downloaded from the UCI website looks like this. Please note that this is the CSV format and the data you would download would be dot data format. So you can download the CSV file from the Google Drive link also in the description section of this video. For simplicity purposes, I have replaced L with 1, number 1, the class L with 1, B which is balanced with number 2 and R which is right balanced with number 3. This is just for easy understanding. You can continue using LBR but for this example, I just changed it. Having said that, let's get the data in R studio. So in order to read the file in CSV, and then let's do a str structure. It tells you that there are 625 observations of five variables. Please note that it's 625 
the square root of 625 would be 25 which is even better because it's an odd number and it's a perfect value of k let's do a summary to understand why in our section this data how is it looking ignore class because class is what we will use as a target variable and left weight left distance right weight right distance are gonna be our predictor variables please note that for left weight the range is from 1 to 5 for distance is again 1 to 5 so on and so forth for right weight and right distance what it means is that the range values for each variables predictor variables are same we don't have to really normalize but if it's not same in your data set you probably have to use normalize which is to make sure that the range of values are kind of matching so let's move forward and let's get the data in a data frame please note that this function is gonna create some random samples for the file which we just read so order randomly this is gonna create some random numbers let's try doing it you can see that this created a lot of random numbers between 0 and 1 and this is now gonna be used for ordering so all I'm trying to do is order this balance CSV data and kind of mix and match it up so that the data is more evenly distributed and then if you look at tail you can see that these are the serial numbers from the original data set and it's kind of you know mixed and matched which is good this is again just to make sure that the data is kind of mixed up in such a fashion randomly so that we will have training and testing data set so now you are ready to start the KNN algorithm I'm gonna talk and show you more on that in the next video thank you for watching